Hi everybody, it's Sarah Cray with Let's Make Art. And as you guys know, we have three artists here and we create weekly tutorials and monthly boxes for you guys to enjoy. But we're so excited that we're gonna introduce this new program called... The Let's Make Art Guest Artist Program. <laughs> Guest Artist Program. I realized I started laughing halfway through and I, I probably talked over you. That's okay, it was We great. should just start over. Start over? God dang, yeah. <laughs> I was like, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> you couldn't hear a thing you said. I said it pretty loud. The one line that I gave you, I'm like, <laughs> I gotta talk over this. <laughs> it's not that aggressive. Okay. Hi everybody, it's Sarah Cray with Let's Make Art. And as you know, we have three artists here who do weekly tutorials and monthly boxes for you guys to enjoy. And we wanted to introduce a new program to you and that is called... The Let's Make Art Guest Artist Program. Thanks, Keaton. You're welcome. So how the guest program artists will work is we will invite artists to come and create projects for you and curate supplies for you um, using different mediums so you guys can experience and expand your knowledge in the art world. We're super excited about it. So our very first artist is going to be Aaron and he is doing acrylic. <laughs> so what we have done is together we've worked on three different acrylic boxes and they're different themes. So one theme is still life, the second theme is landscape, and the third theme is the animals. There uh, will all be acrylics in there, different acrylics and uh, paint brushes in there as well. So you guys can learn and get information about how to use acrylics. Um, in this way. Now, the guest artist program is going to be released a little bit different than how we do our other boxes. So how this will work is all three boxes will be available on October 5th. And then if you purchase the box, the educational materials will be emailed to you. Now, if you don't purchase the box, don't worry. You still have access to those tutorials. They'll just be released a little bit later date. So just keep an eye out for that release date. Now, um, I'm going to do a Q&A with Aaron so you guys can get to know him a little bit. But the really fun thing about him, well, there's quite a few fun things there about are. him. He's a great guy. One, he loves ice cream. So we've talked about ice cream before. We have. <laughs> we've also tested ice cream. We have. Um, but he's also a comedian, so he has some dry wit. He has dry humor. He does do some deadpan sometimes. <laughs> So it's really great, but he's super enthusiastic about teaching. He's very knowledgeable about acrylic. So I'm really excited for you guys to get to know him, see the projects that he has come up with, and just expand your artistic knowledge. So um, I hope you enjoy it, and I'm looking forward to the release date, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hi, everybody. It's Sarah Cray with Let's Make Art, and I'm here with Aaron. Hello. Hello. Who's going to be one of our first? A guest artist that we're going to have. We also have Keenan here who's working the cameras. Hello. You know him. And we have Heidi and Mary. They're hanging out just here for support, really, which I appreciate. So thanks for being here. You bet. Uh, we just wanted to get to know Aaron a little bit. He is going to be doing um, an acrylic box for us, which mm -hmm. I'm so excited about. Woo -woo. Yeah. <laughs> you, you can't tell, but I'm, I'm stoked. <laughs> <laughs> So we just wanted to, I wanted you guys to get to know Aaron as a person a little bit before you're introduced to these tutorials and all of that fun stuff um, because it's fun to teach and I think it's really important for us to kind of like say what we're about a little bit, you know? For sure. Yeah, so <laughs> um, so Aaron, you're gonna do acrylic. Can you just give us a background of um, like your art background? So I, uh, I've been drawing since I was a little kid. Mm -hmm. uh, and then when I was in college, uh, uh, by the time I was ready to declare my major, it seemed like a better thing to do than anything else. Yeah, that's uh, fair. Yes, yeah, so I got my art degree and then worked in the milk industry. Uh, the milk industry? The milk well, industry. yes, yeah, that's, yeah, with your art degree, they should, <laughs> they should prepare you for call centers and stuff. But, um, <laughs> no, I, uh, I have painted ever since college, though. Okay. And I, I love it. It's recently become a career, like in the past year. Um, Great. But that's that's where I'm at. So where did you graduate from? Uh, University of Phoenix Online. Just kidding. Oh. All right. Um, I was no, like, it's, that's uh, great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was a quarterback. Um, no, I uh, <clears throat> I went to Northwest Missouri State. Okay. Um, yeah. So that's Bearcats. close. That's close to here. I don't know Missouri very well. If I'm yeah, being I don't. Honest. You know, I don't know where I'm at right now at all. But um, this is it Hamilton. Is, it's Hamilton, Missouri, <laughs> right? I thought it was China. Um, no, it, it, Maryville's like a little town, uh, like like an hour from here, I think. 
Okay. If I had to guess. Okay. So you're but. so you're in Kansas City now, though. Uh, yes. And then just to give you guys a little bit of background information, Brock, who is one of our employees at Let's Make Art, he knew Aaron in college. That's how we were introduced to you. That's what he said. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, <laughs> So what we did is we just kind of sat down with Aaron, who is a local artist in Kansas City, and um, we just kind of wanted to talk to him to, to tell him about Let's Make Art and see what we're at. And um, it was just a really great conversation. And what I really appreciated about you is your willingness to be open. Um, we talked a little bit about how sometimes the art world can seem really um, pretentious or absolutely intimidating. And so, um, what are what are your thoughts regarding that and how you want to approach art with that in mind? Well, so I am um, one of the things about me. I'm, I'm a passionate artist. I love art uh, and I love painting specifically, but I'm also a comic. Okay. And like as a comic, like if you talk down to people and mm -hmm. don't align yourself with with uh, where they're at, like it's all about just relating to people. Yeah. Um, and that, I think that that's a cool way to approach art because um, I think that it's more accessible to people than they realize. Yeah. You know, uh, so yeah, I think that's the coolest thing about art. I don't want to make paintings that no one understands, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. or that art professors understand. Mm -hmm. I like people. Yeah. So, that's kind of the lens that I look at it through. Yeah, so being able to connect yeah. to people when you're teaching and mm -hmm. not make this this really scary thing that seems unattainable. Yeah. Because when it boils down to it, like we're all just people that are trying new things and experimenting. Exactly. And sometimes I think that art has this um, stereotype that if, if you didn't start at the beginning always loving art as a kid, then it's not for you. And yeah. I just don't think that's true. Definitely not true. Yeah. Um, so what was one of the things for you when you heard about Let's Make Art that um, interested you? Well, and so I don't know if you know this, but when Brock Facebook messaged me okay. <laughs> um, out of nowhere, uh, I, you know, he he pitched this idea to me, and I was half paying attention. I'm being okay. honest right now. <laughs> I, I was we love honesty here. Right, <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> so I uh, he he said something about, and I wasn't paying attention. He said something about a company that he had, um, and he asked if I would want to teach classes. And I just assumed that it was like one of those sip and paint like yeah. wine yeah. things. Yeah. Uh, so I thought it was odd that you guys were willing to take me out for sushi to talk about that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, but I, you know, I was like, well, I'll get sushi. Yeah, um, I mean, so, I got sushi out of that. Right. It's a great yeah, time for me. That? You weren't invited. <clears throat> I know. Sorry, Keenan. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever left Hamilton? No. <laughs> I live in this building. Right. <laughs> he says when he like starts making money, then he'll be yeah. able to move. So out. never pay him. Get my own fridge. Yeah. He's been a joy to to get to work with, and you know I appreciate uh, Michael for for editing my breathing out of this. So, uh, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, that can't be easy. Um, during that sushi lunch, though, I remember you guys were talking about like benefits or something and I like and I was like that's a, this must be a good wine and and paint company <laughs> <You know? laughs> uh, I, w I was very impressed but then you know you told me more and more about it and I realized that it was like a, a legitimate like exciting operation mm -hmm. and you guys sold me on just like you guys were still excited about it uh, and then it just kept I I'm a skeptical sort of person mm -hmm. so like whenever I, I kept waiting for like there to be a catch yeah. you know so I, I came here thinking like okay this, the facility is going to be awful well, uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> right <clears throat> you know what I'm saying I, like I thought I kept thinking uh you know there's got to be some kind of catch but everyone here has been remarkably nice and professional uh and um you guys just seem so happy all the time so I I, I, I look for reasons to not do something, and then by the end, I was like, I have to do this. Like, wow. this, this seems like such a cool operation. I really appreciate you saying that. I think that 
it is great that we get to work with people who are passionate about what we're doing. I think that's kind of, I mean, and it's because you guys are willing to try something and um, put yourselves out there, and we just love that. So, and I love that you were willing to try something new and put yeah. yourself out there. And I remember when I was looking um, after I talked to you, I was looking at your your Instagram account. I was looking uh -huh. through your different paintings, and you have such a different style than I do, which I really appreciate right. because I think. Um, it's so good when people are learning to see all of the different options. It's not just one way, one right. thought. Like, even watching through some of your videos, like you approach paintings differently than I do. One, that's part of the medium. Mm -hmm. And the other part is just that it's okay to approach things in different ways. So I really love um, the impasto, like the thick paintings mm -hmm. and your expressive brush strokes and all of that really fun stuff. Right. Um, what about that to you? Um, like w as you're teaching these um, these people that hopefully you guys really enjoy what he's going to put out for you, what do you hope that they learn um, while watching these tutorials and being exposed to your style? So for, um, for all the videos, uh, I, I really just want to give you the tools that you're going to need to like figure out how to express yourself and yeah. develop your own style. And yeah. there's like there's no shame. Every great artist ever uh, uh, has emulated painters that they, especially in painting, they they we emulate painters that we admire. Mm -hmm. um, and so there's no shame in that. And just like knowing the tools uh, to know like how that person painted that, because right. that's where innovations come from. Yeah. So I don't like, you know, I don't want this to be just a cookie cutter type of project for people. I just want to give them the tools to figure out how to express themselves. Yeah. And just like go from there. I love that. Is yeah. there something about acrylic that you're really drawn to as opposed to other mediums? It's uh, so acrylic is like really forgiving, uh -huh. you know, um, and. It, it it's basically sky's the limit. You can approach it like an oil painting, uh, or you can be just very quick and expressive with it, mm -hmm. uh, and you can paint over your mistakes, which mm -hmm. is important. Um, and yeah, it's it's just extremely quick and fun, and I I like it. Good. You know, if I'm being a little bit honest, acrylic hasn't always been my favorite medium, but mm -hmm. actually after watching some of your tutorials and some of your projects, I thought that maybe I should be nicer about it. And yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah <'cause laughs> right. I, I was kind of like, no, that's fine. I have watercolor, but right. there is so much value in trying something new and being okay with the differences between mediums. Oh, for sure. And something I've noticed is that like, yeah. if you uh, so I, I'm primarily on my own time like an oil painter. Okay. So, but I will make myself like paint with acrylic for a month, uh -huh. uh, just so that because there are things you pick up from acrylic painting that like apply to oil painting and make you understand yeah. it better. Yeah. It's weird that way. Yeah. And it's the same. I think it's the same if you're a watercolor person uh, and you try doing acrylic or oil for a little while, you'll yeah. understand things that you didn't. And that yeah. you couldn't. No, that makes a lot of sense. And um, <clears throat> I, I'm really excited for you guys to, to try this because so much, sometimes we don't know what we're going to love until we try something new. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, so what, what um, can you give us just a little bit of an idea of what you have planned for us? So um, the, the projects that, that, uh, that we selected, um, they're, they're, def they're, they're uh, distinctive in the sense that um, they're they're about different subject matters, okay. of course, and they're they're different, um, pretty traditional styles of painting. Okay. Um, but uh, I th I think that the the cool thing about it is there there is stuff um, like some of the boxes are are going to be good. For people to like learn about composition, for for example. Oh yeah. Um, and you know some of it's like the, the the other boxes might be more about color and stuff like that. Um, but uh, yeah, I think that the the main thing is that uh, if you this can be whatever you want. Like you can go off of the outline and mm -hmm. and you know skip the the drawing part of it mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But I also sit there in the tutorial and draw it out too, so you can see what I'm actually doing. Um, if that 
Yeah, that makes sense. So, yeah. so you'll be going over different focuses on the different projects that you have planned. Right. And so people can kind of pick and choose. I'm kind of actually really interested in learning about composition, so maybe this might be a better sure. project for me to focus on. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and once again, like my goal is that just, just each of these are just perfect for um, giving you the tools to make future projects that you come up with too. Yeah. It's just a starting off point. I love yeah. that because that's something that we're really passionate about here at Let's Make Art is it's not about a cookie cutter thing to get this perfect painting or finished mm -hmm. product. It's about giving you the knowledge and the information so you can start and then take that and feel comfortable moving forward in creating whatever it is that you want to make. For because sure. we all have the ability to be creative. It's mm -hmm. not just for the select few who were chosen at birth with this magic ability. That's not <laughs> what it is. And so I'm, I'm really excited for um, people to see uh, what you've come up with and to try those new things. Um, we're super interested as a company in reaching out to artists who um, are passionate about making art accessible and making it easier to get into, letting people create their own style and kind of giving them that, the information that they need to do that. So I really appreciate you doing that with us. Well, I no, like the, the spirit that, that, uh, that I've sensed here is why I wanted to, to do it. You guys are, you know, uh, the happiness is contagious. Like you guys are positive folks. Yeah. I like that. Well, thank you. So. Thanks. So we're super excited <coughs> for you guys to see it. Um, more info is coming soon with details on what's going to be coming out, what Aaron has planned for you. So just hold tight with that. Um, Aaron, it was so wonderful talking to you. You as well. And Keenan, always a pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> so uh, we'll be seeing you guys later. But this, I, I hope you guys got a good idea of who Aaron is going to be. He's going to be teaching some acrylic boxes and we can't wait. So we'll see you later. Bye.